Hello everyone, it's -a me, Jeremy Holder. Welcome to yet another episode of Delve Into Void, where today we're continuing our E3 discussion, this time featuring Nintendo. Nintendo started off early this year at E3. Before E3 even began, the day before, they had a Nintendo Direct with the mic-dropping announcement of, get ready for it, moment of silence for one fighter, Ryu. Let's take a moment of glorious silence. Okay, as you all know, Ryu is one of my favorite characters, not only in Street Fighter, but now in Super Smash Brothers. So before E3 even got started, I was super hyped up to be playing Ryu and Smash. In addition to the awesomeness of releasing Ryu, Nintendo also released Roy and other characters along with stages and even me outfits. This E3 was just amazing. Nintendo once again brought it all to the table. You know, it is really hard to choose one of my favorite Nintendo E3 moments, but who could ever forget when they went ahead and said, are you ready for the revolution? Or when they showed us the 3DS. After all, 3D without glasses? How cool is that? Or if you were there to witness last year's E3 when they unveiled the awesomeness that was Zelda for Wii U, jaws were dropped, heart stopped, it was that amazing. It was awesome, and even if you're a Zelda fan or not, you had to agree, that trailer looked it incredible. When Nintendo's presentation went live this year at E3, it was amazing. They went ahead and showed us new games into their beloved franchises such as the new Star Fox Zero, or the new Animal Crossing games, and even a new Mario Maker, and more. They kept coming and coming with mini games. And now, let us look in at our awesome E3 discussion with Sean, Clovis, and myself. Nintendo actually came on knocking on both doors, both the 3DS and the Wii U. You know, yes, the so, Wii U. So people actually had, still play the Wii U? Yes. Because I thought that went the way the dinosaur too. I think, actually, Wii U opened up the doors for E3. The day before E3 even started, they was like, hey, we got Nintendo Direct. We're going to talk purely about Smash Bros., one of our number one games. We're going to give you Lucas, we're going to give you Roy, and wait for it. For those of you who don't know yet, Ryu from Street Fighter is in Smash Bros. now. That was basically Nintendo dropping the mic on E3 before it even started because Ryu and Smash was awesome. Plus they came out new uh -huh. stages, new costumes and stuff like that. But then when E3 actually got started, Star Fox Zero came out and oh, it okay, looks okay. amazing. That, was kinda cool. that, was kinda that looks amazing, yeah. you know, and I mean- I watched on Smash Bros. Yeah, now Smash Bros, that's just because you played very poorly on it, but. <laughs> For those of us who Nobody actually have skill in Smash and love Smash, or for anyone who plays it, it's awesome. But yeah, there was lots of uh, lots of games that you know they, they hit on both fronts. I mean, you know, you had like I said, Star Fox Zero. There was the new uh, Mario and Luigi meets Paper Mario, which is Mario and Luigi Paper Mario Jam, which is taking two different Mario franchises, putting them together. So you have like literally two Mario's there, as if one wasn't awesome enough. But yes, that Mario hat. But um, yeah, then you on the um, don't touch that. So anyway, now on the 3DS don't touch front, the hat. you know, which by the way, the 3DS is an amazing that system is that still is selling greatly. Sally Novita, but 3DS actually had a Zelda game that came out for it. So we have the Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes that are coming out for it, which no one saw coming because we was expecting. Zelda for the Wii U, but they already said no, we're not going to talk about Zelda for Wii U, we don't have it ready yet. We're going to talk about Zelda for the 3DS, which is a co-op Zelda. You know, we've seen this before and they're really going to take it and say they're flushing it out and making some great ideas with it. And a super surprise, a new Metroid game. Not quite the one we were looking for, but it still looked pretty awesome. I mean, they're taking a different approach. He said that you know, this is going to look at the universe of Metroid, like Metroid Other M flushed out the universe. So Metroid Prime um, Federation Force is going to once again flush out the universe more and setting up for future Metroid. So they're saying, hey, we, we know our franchises, you know, all our IPs, all our characters and so on and so forth in Nintendo world. We know they're still here. You know, we're going to go ahead and we're not forgetting them. 
a franchise that's been really keep going, Animal Crossing. They released like two of them. Uh, we have Animal Crossing Happy uh, Home Designer and Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Uh, a sleeper hit they talked about, which really is really looking to be an awesome game, Super Mario Maker. For the first time, we've been playing Mario games since like the beginning. We're back when the NES days. For the first time, they're giving us, the customers, the ability to make our own levels in any Mario generation, whether it's the Super Mario Bros, the Super Mario Bros 3, Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros um, U, whichever universe you like or style or artwork, you can make your own levels in those universes and share them with your friends online. I mean, that's like, that's, that's amazing. I mean, it's, it's almost like mm. a little bit of Minecraft for Mario Kart right there, you know, or a little bit planet. It looks pretty awesome. You know, and then they did stop with the Mario news. Like I said, Mario and Luigi, um, Paper Jam, a new Mario Tennis game, finally, Ultra Smash, totally looked awesome. I, you know, I'm just it, like. It, it sounds like Nintendo knows how to take care of their IP. They really do. I mean, they they went ahead and took their time and covered both the Wii U, which is the big console, and the 3DS, which is their super powerful, highly successful little console. Nintendo is really hitting all bases. So whether you click all those meeples like me out there and you just you got a lot to look forward to. I, I think E three was a phenomenal experience to start dreaming and to, to get a feel for the things that are coming and, and the to get excited about video games again and not necessarily the ones that we've been playing for having today, the Destinies, the Call of Duties, the Maddens, the things that, that are just the there was, go-to. There's that a lot are of fresh content out there. Fresh content, new IPs, oh things gosh. that are just super interesting. <laughs> and even some of the just, old stuff that have inspired us to get excited about them all over again. Yes. So the, this E3, they did a good job and it, I would say back one last note right stuff. quick. One last note, again, uh, announcement, I can't believe I almost forgot it, came out of nowhere. Remember I talked about at the beginning, we was talking about the three big juggernauts that just stealing every little penny from every parent's pocket? Well, Skylanders, one of the big juggernauts that started the whole thing, apparently has now teamed up with Nintendo. And since I got my Skylanders for the Wii U, I'm like, super excited because now Amiibos and Skylanders are being combined. So now for the first time, they actually showed Donkey Kong and Bowser in the world of Skylanders. So as if, you know, all this wasn't awesome enough, they're saying, hey, we're gonna go ahead and bring Skylanders into the Nintendo world, and so on and so forth, back in verse. And the new figures will have like a little switch on it, where, you know, normally it's the Amiibo figure, you could pop it on, play, you know, Smash Brothers and stuff, and then you flip the switch, and now you pop it on, and now you got Skylanders. You know, they're right in there doing their thing. I thought that was just an amazing surprise that just came out of nowhere. Awesome. Nintendo did a great job at bringing lots of smiles. That's, that's one thing they did. I mean, really, all three companies, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, they all came out punching. They did a great job this year. I mean, really, you know, some of the 3s you'd be like, okay, well, one of the companies kind of slacked off. I wish it would done a little bit more. Other than the fact that Sony didn't do Vita, I think they all did an exceptional job this year. They did great. Outstanding. Outstanding. Well, I think good coverage on all of that. We were able to really grab some great information out of that. Hopefully, if you guys have some comments or some ideas on some of the things that you saw or some opinions there, make sure you jump on Facebook and uh, leave those comments up there and we will endeavor to respond to them very quickly with most likely the uh, energy and zest that you're used to from us. That, with that, I think I, I, I'm comfortable with E3 for this year. Uh, I'm, I feel like a, a kid at the end of Christmas where you, you've opened up all your toys and you're like, all right, I think I'm done here. I think I'm done here. Yeah, I'm I mean, done. even the day before, it was, I was excited before it started. Nintendo just came you out. You stay out excited the about everything. You know, then <laughs> afterward, it was just. You are uh, the most excitable kid I've ever met in my life. Wow. Wasn't that awesome? You know, Nintendo actually announced so many titles. There was actually a few I forgot to mention in the discussion such as Xenoblade Chronicles X for Wii U, or the fact that there's a Fire Emblem Fates coming out. And let's not also not forget that there was awesome Amiibo support, even for the fighters that was just released as DLC for Super Smash Bros. Thank you so much for watching our E3 discussions. You know, as these titles get closer and closer to their release, such as the fact that Yoshi's Wally World is right around the corner, 
we'll be covering more in depth of these titles and more as they get closer to the release and more information is available. This may have ended our E3 discussions, but there's so much in the world of pop culture and entertainment out there that we're going to be here talking about it and more. Should there be a topic of pop culture or entertainment that you want the Delft team to discuss and make a feature on our show? Let us know, whether it's in Facebook or in YouTube. Leave your comment and we'll surely take a look into it. Until next time, my name is Jeremy Holder and thank you for watching yet another episode of Delve Into the Void. See ya! Access Vision, your voice, your community.